In this screencast, I will demonstrate how to make three-dimensional text with the interpolate effect in Inkscape version 0.45. Let's begin. Okay, I'll start off with some text. And I will pick something that is script. And we'll pick this one right there. And I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. That looks pretty good. Okay, now what I need to do is convert this to a path. And I also need to break it apart. Okay, now. I'll select these bits here, do a difference. When I break this apart, the uh, the through holes in the text become uh, one, I guess, uh, with the same color as the uh, text. So what I need to do is just uh, cut it back through again. I'll select each one of these, do a difference. There we go. And basically what I have is each uh, letter is an individual uh, entity now. Okay, now that I have that, what I'm going to do is do a union on that. Okay, now I'm going to right click on this. We'll do a duplicate. And I'm just going to shove this down just a little bit. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now what I'm going to do is select our first one, our duplicated copy. We'll go to Effects, Generate from Path, and we'll select our Interpolate. What I have for Interpolate is Exponent 0, Interpolation Steps 50, and Interpolation Method 1. Now basically what we're going to do is uh, when we do an interpolation between two entities basically what I'm doing is copying the entity down 50 times to the uh, second entity so I'll show you how that works okay now what I'm gonna do is color the text and I'm gonna give this a orange stroke Okay, and that's pretty much it. Now your interpolation uh, copy is actually a copy right on top of your original two entities. So we'll move this down. Okay, now basically all I have here, like I said before, was 50 steps that's been uh, interpolated between two shapes. So if I take this and ungroup it, I'll have 50 copies right on top of each other. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this. And I want to make this text uh, a little rounded. So I'm going to right click on this, duplicate. I'll right click again and duplicate a, a second time. Now I'm going to take this, color it white, and I'm going to shift it just a little bit up and to the left about like so okay now I'm gonna select our bottom copy and our white copy and I'm gonna go to path and I'm gonna do a difference then I'm gonna select the color white again and I'm gonna take this and drag it down now if I can get it and 
just to speed things up, I'm just going to eye this. I think it's probably close enough. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. And that's my highlight. So what I'm going to do now is take that highlight, go to my fill and stroke dialog, set this to 2 on the blur, and also set the transparency to about, we'll do about maybe a 75. And basically what I've done is I've uh, made an effect where this uh, blue text looks a little rounded. Okay, now having done that, next what we need to do is this is going to become my drop shadow. So I'll, I'll select this uh, lighter shade of gray. We'll go into the fill and stroke dialog. We'll select a two for the blur. And I'll make sure that's pushed to the bottom. Now what I'm going to do is just drag this behind. And again, I'm just going to eye this. And this creates just a little bit of a drop shadow. Okay, now what I'll do, zoom in on this. And that is how you make 3D text with the interpolate effect. Thank you for watching. I'm HeathenX.